black. So you really can't see any, a whole lot of gradation because there's not a whole lot there. So you take that rustic, go just below the black, and it adds. See, now I can start swiping because the eyeliner set. Fun stuff. So I apologize for how long this is taking. This doesn't actually take that long to do unless I'm, of course, recording it and explaining it. But I think it took me like maybe about a half an hour to do the first time. Like I did this super quick. All right, time to get into it with the highlighter. The Moonstone, it's that nice light sand kind of color. Uh, I've got some very bright lighting, so this is probably going to show up really brightly. And I need to... I go under my eyes with this one because I like to brighten up my eyes. Now we're going to touch it in, and I just put this in little pats to get it where I want it. Because it kind of, if you're not careful, it can really wash out the eyeliner and kind of make it disappear. This stuff is uh, quite heavily pigmented, so be cautious. And because I already have it on as a highlighter right now, anyway, uh, up there. Yeah, see, it's a little too much. Let me see if I can dust that back off. Grab my blush brush and, yeah, that ain't working. <laughs> that ain't working. All right, moving on. And I love taking this stuff, and this is where I start getting the little spots. Because I want them to pop. Now, if you want to make them super, super bright, before you get started on this, start getting at them with uh, a white crayon. Um, I do actually have a white crayon, too. That's okay. I just want glitter today because I'm feeling glittery. Ooh. Hello, nose. Yep, that's happening. Hello, nose. Okay, yep, I totally grabbed a white pencil and literally don't draw a circle. Just push it on and spin it. Adds that nice bright pop. And as you can see, this is a very glittery, very gold um, butterfly, you know excluding my nose. All right, next up, time to line the lips, and then I'm gonna get, and then I'm gonna uh, finish up with the mascara and the lips, and this look is gonna look amazing. All right, so a quick little fun trick to make your lips look a little more pouty, but not like Queen of Hearts kind of looking. As you see, I cut off just a little bit before the rest of my lip. And then I angled back toward the corner of my mouth. So you see I got that little dimple right there? Kind of, I don't know how to, I don't know how to say what I want to say. Kind of curls up the edges of the lips a little bit. Okay, I already know this looks funny, but here we go. Don't forget to darken up the outer corners of the mouth. Okay, because I look funny. Share your concealer brush. Oh, and don't forget, dip your eyeliner in rubbing alcohol after this and let it air dry. Because you don't need your mouth germs in your eyeballs. And this goes for whatever eyeliner you're using. Same thing with your uh, with your liquid. Definitely make sure you spritz it, because you uh, put that eyeliner all over your face. If you ain't washing your face right before you do this, definitely, definitely, definitely put that bad boy in some. Uh, you know, give it a spritz with some alcohol. Alright, I smudge out the black a little bit because it can be very, very harsh if you don't really work it. Next, the At Play Liquid Lip in Red Envy. Let the games begin. Don't go super heavy. I only need one dip in order to get what I'm after. And make sure you go all the way to the edge of the block. And I'll show you why. You're like, why? Well, I have a 
if you're gonna ruin the whole uh, uh, black lip liner effect, I'm gonna grab my lip brush. I'm gonna show you why. So you're gonna get it. Go from the outside in while everything is still wet. Gonna get that blocked work in. And as you see, I took out that uh, that edge, and I did it on purpose. Oops. Guess I need to stay in camera. The reason I took that edge out is because I wanted the darkness of the shadow, not the actual lip color. It is incredibly, it is very, very subtle, but it works quite well. Next, I'm going to highlight my lips and really accentuate the ombre effect by using the Taupe That. And this is going just dabbing. Okay, you just dab that a little bit. Grab that lip brush. And tap it in place. And I love it because it just melts into the red. And of course, grab your foundation if you accidentally smudge. Alright, I don't even want to put the iconic red on top of this. I really like it the way it is. Uh, if you hit it with the iconic red, it add, it almost makes it more purple in color. So next step, next, let's go ahead and get some eyelashes curled up because it's it's time for that mascara. Believe me, I'm mad. Plenty of people that are like, you have great curled eyelashes. Why do you even bother? Well, because I really want them up in the air. All right, time to hit with some primer and then some eyeliner, or excuse me, some mascara. And again. The ultimate mascara. You cannot go wrong with this bad boy. This stuff is awesome. And of course, always go for black. Browns are nice if you're looking for something subtle. But I, this is obviously very, very bold. So we're going bold today. Okay, so I've got some, uh, so normally when I do regular makeup, I am using the Eyelash Primer by Mary Kay. I am using an off brand right now simply because I have a lot of makeup on my eyelashes and I don't want it getting back into my good bottle. Um, you really should always use an eyelash primer. A clear mascara works just as well. Or stuff like taming these wild brows. And also to kind of get all the makeup, especially all the eyeshadow, because Lord knows I have a lot on my face right now. Uh, but get it off your eyelashes. You don't want that in your mascara. All right, so let's get it. And yes, I'm a goofball, I can do this both handed. So let's have at it. I sweep from base to tip. Let me get back up in the camera. And look at how easily that just glides. I'm not shaking, I'm not shimmying, I'm just getting it on. Don't forget the lowers. Now for the lowers, I always gotta shake because they're so small. And you can already see a nice pronounced difference from one eye to the other. We're going for coat number two just because I'm feeling glamorous today. Now how you like that? If you want the fun and flair, we're going to go in. We're just going to tip the eyelashes. Give them a nice tip. Now as you can see, it's definitely not as bold as this. Wave it a little bit, give it a second to dry, and then go root to tip. 
Watch how much of a flare I can get out of this. Always be gentle going from the root of your eyelashes to the tip of your eyelashes so you don't accidentally stab your eyeball. It don't matter what brand of mascara it is, it ain't gonna feel good. I'm really taking my time with that eye because I did a flare. And a lot of that is the application. This formula glides on super, super smooth and it's very easy to take off. The biggest thing I love about it is, say it's the end of the day, you're like, oh my God, I wanna go home. Well, guess what, you forgot to take off your mascara? Okay, you aren't gonna end up with some crazy black smudge mark across your pillow. You have that bad day at work like I have, and it's just not your day. Cool part is, this isn't the waterproof, but it doesn't smear and smudge like most of your drugstore eye, eye mascaras. All right, let's get this look done. Coat number two. Look at how easy that goes on. I need man. And that, ladies, and gents, it's how we get this set. Again, the only thing uh, not Mary Kay on my face at the moment is in fact the white eyeliner pen and the eyelash primer. And again, that was just because I did not want to get all that stuff into my Mary Kay uh, eyelash primer because I had a lot of, uh, I had a lot of the shiny penny um, eyeshadow on my brush it was actually or on my lashes it was actually pretty bad so those are the only two oddball things that I used otherwise ladies I hope you enjoy this and I hope you have a wonderful um Halloween and I'm hoping that I get to see someone else rocking this really really pretty look couple this up with some with like a black shirt or an orange shirt even like a tan brown and it's gonna look really really pretty you can also redo this look using um you can actually redo this using actually the Mary Kay, where did it go? Aha, there it is. Um, if you wanna pink it up, if you wanna add a little extra glitter, you can actually come in with the Mary Kay limited edition ruby, and you can actually touch that into some of the outlying spots to add an extra pop of glitter. If you're really, really wanting to really glam up this look and make it super, super bold. Otherwise, I hope everyone has a great day and a happy Halloween. Y'all have y'all take care.